Alright, part three. Finding that constant. Now, we are looking for something called a partial or a particular solution, which means that there's an infinite number of solutions if we don't know what that constant is. But if we, excuse me, do know what that constant is, then we can use initial conditions to figure it out. Now, first we need f of x. So I need to take a look at what gives me a derivative 3x squared. Well, since I know that's a 2, it's going to be a 3. So it's going to be x cubed. And if we say ax cubed, and just go with that, the derivative is going to be 3ax squared. Now that should be equal to 3x squared. Divide by x squared, divide by x squared. Those go away. 3a should be equal to a. Or no. 3a is equal to 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3. a is equal to 1. That tells me that the function here that's going to give me the derivative I want has an a in it of that's equal to 1. So I know that f of x is going to be equal to 1x cubed. So I'm going to get an x cubed out of that. Now, I'm going to take negative 1. Now that negative 1 is going to have x to the 0 power to start with. But I know that this power is going to end up at 1. So if I have ax to the first power, that should, and I take its derivative, Well, what's the derivative of ax to the first power? That's just going to be a. So a should be equal to negative 1, because that's the number that's there. So I know that this is going to be negative 1 times x, so negative x. So I took care of this guy. I took care of this guy. Now, since I don't know the constant, it's always plus c. Plus c is always there. But here's what I do know. This is going to be my antiderivative. But now I know 2, 4 is on the graph in the function. Let me move that over a little bit. All that fun stuff. Now, 4, that's 2 is my, that's equal to x. 4 is equal to f of 2. So, if I'm looking at f of 2, this is going to be 4 is equal to 2 cubed minus 2 plus c. So 4 is equal to 8 minus 2 plus c. So 4 is equal to 6 plus c. I'll subtract a 6 from both sides. c is equal to negative 2. So now I know that if the point 2, 4 is on big F of x, c has to be negative 2. So I could go back to big F of x. Say, I know that's going to be x cubed minus x. Now, instead of a constant, which gives me an infinite number of them, I'm just going to say, I know my c is a negative 2. So here's what we do. Find your antiderivative. You're going to be given a point x, k, 
capital f of x. Don't forget your plus c when you find your antiderivative. Use this in big f of x. Solve for c and rewrite. And you will be good to go. And that's exactly what we did here. Now, we'll spend more time in class figuring out this stuff. This is just really quick stuff for us. So you can see the video, see how we kind of do it. We'll spend a little bit more time doing that in class. Now, the original function we were able to figure out was x squared x cubed minus x plus c. We used the point. I know my big f of x was 4, 2, 2. Plug it in, solve for c. Get that, rewrite it, and we're good to go. That's it. Nothing more than that.